Uh, this is Groff from Cooper Icon's Final Fantasy XI server, and I'm just going to make a video to try to help some people out who want to run a private Final Fantasy XI server on Linux. Um, so like I said, I'm using Kupo Icon's Final Fantasy XI server. You might be using a different server, you might be using um, a different version of Linux, uh, but in any case you could kind of use this video as a guide because um, each server is going to be a little different and each Linux distribution is, is going to handle Final Fantasy XI a little differently. So maybe you're somebody who's already running Linux and want to get Final Fantasy XI up and running, or maybe you're somebody who uh, currently plays Final Fantasy XI and you want to uh, move over to Linux, um, and, and Final Fantasy XI would be one less obstacle for you to do that. Um, so this should work with most other Linux distributions and most other private servers, but just keep in mind you'll have to play around a little bit. Um, so just so you can see here, I am running Chakra Linux, and um, let's see what else I got there. What you'll need to make this work is Wine, which is a, a program that lets you run Windows applications on Linux. Um, so that's the first thing we'll need. The other thing is Linux, of course, and, and you'll just have to figure out how to install Linux on your own. Um, you'll need a file called imm32dll.so, and of course Final Fantasy XI. I'll uh, provide links to all those in the description of this video. Um, so before we start, I'd just like to say thanks to the makers of Chakra Linux and the makers of the uh, Final Fantasy XI private server, uh, Kupo Icon and Northern Lights. Alright, without further ado, uh, I use Octopi to install programs on here. So the first thing we're going to do is install Wine. Wine right there. Right click. Install. Yep. We also want Wine Gecko and Wine Mono. So once we've selected all those for installation, we will confirm that. No peeking at my password, please. And that's going to install Wine. That's going to take a minute. Alright, sweet. So now we have Wine installed. It's a good start right there. Um, the next thing we want to do is Um, head on over to KupoFinalFantasy11.com and uh, this is the private server I use. It rocks. If you click on the install guide, there's two different files you can download that they've uh, listed on here. The first one is for 64-bit users, the second one's for 32-bit users. We're going to use this first one. I've already downloaded it. It's right here. Um, so once you download that, since it's a raw file, we have to extract it. So in Linux, you'll just have to open up a terminal here. And you'll type unwar dash x and then the name of the file. press enter. That'll take about 15 minutes, and when you're done, 
you'll have this file called Final Fantasy XI Client Setup VLock. Um, and inside that, there's uh, quite a few things here. The first one is um, an, an install guide. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And they, they list some instructions here. So we'll start with number one, and it wants us to open the Visual C++ Runtimes folder and install all four of those files. I can do that. But before I do that, there's one thing I forgot to do, and you won't have to do this. Um, shoot. I have to get rid of my old files. Alright. Now we're good to go. Alright, so we'll start with the first one. You should just have to click on it once. Maybe, there we go. The first time you run mine, it takes a few minutes. But it's pretty quick after that. Yes, we accept these terms. One down, three to go. Sweet, two out of four, I'll take it. Can we go four out of four? Nope, it always does that though, so don't worry about it. All right, uh, let's go back to our install guide. The next thing it wants us to do is install the .NET Framework. We're not doing that. And then install DirectX. We're not doing that either. <clears throat> then it wants us to create a Play Online folder in a root directory. So, to do that, we are going to go to your home folder got to find a way to see your hidden files to open your wine directory. And then there's a drive C. We open drive C. We're going to create a new folder here called Play Online. Bam. All right. Now we can close that. OK, so that was step four. We created that folder. Now it wants us to run Koopo setup dot exe. It asks us for a play online folder location that we just made. That's at C C drive play online. Once we've selected that folder, click install PLL. Yep. It'll t that's done. And then we install Final Fantasy XI. Are you sure you want to install? Yes. And this takes a little time here. I think I'll go ahead and pause the video and I'll return once, um, once we're done installing Final Fantasy XI. And we're back. Once the Koopa installation is complete, you get a uh, pop-up box letting you know it's complete. We'll click OK. And we'll close the Koopa setup installer. Bam. Alright. Now if we go back to our guide, It wants us to install Ashida, or however you pronounce that word. 
and uh, I don't use the Ash today, and I've never really tried to install it. I'm sure it would be a pain, so I'll just skip that. And um, we'll just go ahead and run Final Fantasy XI. So to do that, you have to find a way to view the uh, hidden folders on your system. Open your Wine folder, your Drive C, your Play Online folder, your Square Enix folder. Um, look at the Play Online viewer. And uh, this should look familiar to everybody. We actually want to replace this pol.exe with one from Koopa Icons um, server. So to do that, um, go to the files he provided, go to, where is it, Ashera. Koopa loader. We'll rename the original pol.exe to pol.exe and copy Koopa's over into the wine folder. Sweet. Get rid of that then. Right now we'll run Final Fantasy XI. We're going to open up a terminal. And we are going to type in. Let me see here. We're going to run this command, console-e, and then, uh, yeah, everything else that's right there. Sweet. So, um, now we're prompted to enter one for a login or two to create an account. Do whichever you need to do. I obviously already have an account. Uh oh. Okay, so that didn't work. So something we should probably do is go to the Final Fantasy XI folder. And depending on where you live, either go to the Tools EU folder or Tools US folder. Open Final Fantasy XI config. Uh, and I'll just set this up the way I usually have it set up. But the most important thing and why you probably just had an issue is because the resolution is off. I always use 1920 by 1080 for everything. And that seems to work just fine. But I'll go ahead and set everything else while I'm here. Alright. Yep, so that. We'll go back to our Play Online Viewer folder and run that command one more time. Okay, we got a little farther. Uh oh, it crashed. And that's totally expected. So, um, there's one more thing we have to do. There's this imm32.dll.so file that we need. 
and we're going to copy that to our root folder, user folder, lib32, line. Let's go ahead and uh, copy that. Make sure there's no spelling errors. I never make spelling errors. Yep. I made a spelling error. Alright, that's done. We can go back to our wine folder, drive C, play online, square Enix, play online viewer, and we will try this one last time. There I am. That's me. My resolution is all kinds of messed up. I'll fix that later. That's it, we're good to go. Actually, yep, we're done. So uh, I got a bit to keep. Apparently, I got a, a party to go to. Catch you guys later.